Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to talk a little bit about the new firmware just released for the Mavic 2 Quad. In this latest update, we get a couple of cool new features, including one that I know a lot of you've been looking for, precision landing on return to home. Now, DJI released this firmware on November 22nd, which ironically was Thanksgiving in the United States. So I was sitting down to a nice big meal with family and friends and fell asleep about midway through the day like I do every Thanksgiving. And I woke up the next morning and realized there's firmware out for the Mavic 2. And I grabbed it, downloaded it to my Pro and took it out to test it. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. Now I'm gonna do another clip that's a little more complete on all the features that are built into that. But I know this return to home precision landing is a big deal for a lot of people. So I thought, let me talk about that, go out and test it and show you that it actually works. Now, before I get out there and do the testing, and I haven't flown it yet, so I don't even know if it works, but I've done the upgrades, I wanted to give you a little heads up on how you go about updating your stuff. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're on the latest version of the DJI Go 4 application. And there are different versions depending on if you're on an Apple device or an Android device. So if you're on an Apple device, you're going to want to make sure you've got DJI Go 4 version 4.3.5. If you're on an Android device, you're gonna want 4.3.4. .4. And when you update your quad, you're gonna to have to update your quad and your remote. You wanna make sure you get the latest version of the firmware, and that is 01.00.02.00. Okay, so once you've got all that stuff downloaded, I normally do my updates from my remote control, but for some reason this time I had a hard time doing it. It failed every time I tried to do it, so I actually connected it up to my computer through the DJI Assistant and did the update that way and it worked fine for both the remote and the actual uh, quad itself. And I think what happened there is I actually skipped that last update on my Mavic 2 Pro and I don't think you can jump ahead one version through the application. I think you have to kind of serially go through those versions. But anyway, when I used the DJI Assistant, it allowed me to leapfrog the version that I missed and jump right to this newest version. So anyway, everything is complete. It worked out really well for me. Now I'm gonna take it outside in the field and we'll do a test against it. And again, I haven't tested it yet. so. If if I go out in the field and it fails miserably, then we'll all know together. So stay tuned, then I'll take you out in the field. Okay, here's the test you've all been waiting for. Precision landing on the return to home function on the brand new Mavic 2. Now it works fine on both the Zoom and the Pro. I'm gonna show you it on a Pro here because I did the update last night for the firmware. And I know a lot of you guys were upset that it wasn't there at launch, but I predicted at the time that they would definitely add it back in on future versions of the firmware, which they just did in this latest version. So if you haven't updated your firmware, you definitely wanna push this new version to your quad because it's got a lot of other cool features built in that I'll cover in another clip. So what I'm gonna do to show you how this works is I've got the quad sitting over there. I'm going to hit the auto takeoff function and I'm going to send it downfield about 100 yards. I'll hit the return to home. Then we'll see what happens. Now I've set the return to home height at 30 meters. So my suspicion is it'll elevate to 30 meters, probably turn to face me, fly back, and then hover a little bit over top of the target before it starts descending. And I'm fully expecting as it descends for it to make minor adjustments to make sure that it lands exactly where it took off. So I've got that pretty much in the center of the mat. Let's see how close it comes. Take off. The home point has been updated. Immediately set the home point. I'm going to let it hover there for a couple of seconds. All right, let me take it downfield and see what happens. All right, I'll bring her up to about 20 feet. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to hit the return to home, and let's see. Go home. All right, sitting there. So I could turn to face me, and now it's elevating. We're up at... Uh, just about 30 meters right there. Okay, it stopped exactly 30 meters. Now it's heading back to me. And as best I can tell, it's really, really close to lining up at that mat. So I'm not gonna get too close to the mat. We'll see how it does when it lands. But right now it's over top of the mat and it's making some adjustments, positioning it initially until it's happy. Okay, it's happy. Now it's turning to face the way it took off, so it's doing an alignment to make sure that when it lands, it's facing exactly the way it was when it took off, and now it's descending. Man, that's gonna be close. This is pretty exciting. I haven't tested this yet. It's the first time I'm doing it. All right, it's coming down. It's way off. It's way off. It's about four feet that way. So let's see what happens here. Hopefully it stops and doesn't land in the mud. Oh, 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 it's making an adjustment. Okay, it's swooping back, and it's lining up exactly where it took off on that mat. Oh, this is gonna be incredible. Okay, uh, first off, it works, okay? You saw it work, but okay, it's off about six inches. So if you have a really tiny mat, maybe it's not gonna land exactly where it took off. But for me, unbelievable. So there you have it. Precision landing on return to home with the Mavic 2 works fine if you push that new firmware to your quad. So stay tuned, I have a couple final thoughts. 
Well, that worked out pretty well, so two thumbs up to you, DJI, for building that feature into the Mavic 2. And I know some people were upset that it wasn't there at the launch of the product, but I said at the time I'd much rather have the Mavic 2 in my hands and be able to fly it for the rest of the summer, and I was confident at that point that DJI would build it into a future firmware update, and they have, so now we're all set. We're in good shape. Now, I will say one more thing, and I know I get accused of being a fanboy for this company all the time, but when you've got a company like this that releases a product and is constantly in the background tinkering around with their software, trying to expand the capabilities and possibilities of the quad they've sold you and upgraded over time like they do, I think that's a wonderful thing. And you don't find that with a lot of companies. Most companies, when they release firmware updates, they're to fix bugs or they're fix problems in the original product. What DJI does is, in addition to fixing things that may be an issue for them, they introduce new features and functions as the quad matures. So you've got a product that you bought with a certain set of features that's gotten much better and smarter and expanded that feature set over time. So you have to really uh, compliment a company for taking that, that step forward because they could very well freeze this thing, release a new quad with a whole bunch of other features, and then you're thinking, gee, why didn't they build those into the quad that I already own? Well, DJI is doing that through firmware updates. So I love the fact that new firmware comes out and I'm happy you guys can take advantage of that. So if you have any questions at all about this upgrade, drop them in the comments below. I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I love putting these clips together. I love flying these quads just like you guys do. So when I uncover something like this where I want to put a clip together and explain it, I hope you guys are finding value in itself. So so thanks again for watching. Until next time, happy flying. Mm -hmm.